already feeling? We are so excited to be here. It's the 2024 WWE Mattel Elite Squad Comic Con panel. Are you excited for some reveals today? Yeah. Well, you know, this is my, I mean, Comic Con is my favorite time of the year, and this is my favorite time of Comic Con. And I'm told, they don't tell me what we're revealing, but I'm told it's not going to disappoint. I'm told we have some retros. We have superstars, elites, ultimates, and we've got some superstars on the panel as well. Without further ado, let's introduce two of the biggest superstars that make this all possible. From Mattel, ladies and gentlemen, Steve Ozer and Bill Makino! It is great to see you guys again, and that's not just because you've hooked me up with the best seat in the house for all these reveals. Uh, for both of you, what have been some of the highlights since the last time we spoke a year ago? What do you think? Uh, yeah, probably uh, WrestleMania access. Some of the reveals uh, since then. And just, just, it's amazing how much we showed then and how much we're going to be showing today. So just, uh, I think that's what's been most amazing to me. Uh, it, it is in our hearts, Access Forever, but I think it was WWE World this year. But uh, <laughs> Access Forever, right? Woo! Um, but yeah, it was the same. It was awesome. We had a great uh, panel at the WWE World events, and the Superstore uh, booth was phenomenal, and it was jam-packed with, with fans like you. Um, and that's why we're here at Comic-Con, to, to be with you guys, the, the fans, the WWE Universe. Is there anything that you uh, revealed at Access or that we haven't seen yet, or, or that we have seen without revealing anything that makes you specifically excited? I can't believe in the last year we got this done. I mean, down in the booth we have essentially final product of the, the CM Punk return figure. Did we see uh, it? And it's just wild to, to see that come to fruition, that it's even a reality, right? But, but here we are. Yeah. Well, it wouldn't be an Elite Squad panel without WWE superstars. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me in welcoming one of the fastest rising stars in the WWE's women's division, Zoe Stark. <laughs> What's up, guys? Zoe, for me as a collector, one of the fun things about WWE action figures always has been that they, they get those moments that resonate with us so much and they immortalize them forever. Uh -huh. You, in a very short time, have stacked up a lot of moments from a, a partnership with somebody as legendary as Trish Stratus, a rivalry with the top of the division, Becky Lynch. I, I mean, just recently, the Money in the Bank ladder match, like an iconic performance. Thank you. When, when you think about those moments that you've already had, is there anything specifically that jumps out going, man, I would love to see this in action figure form. I mean, Trish Stratus for sure, right? Sure. But also, with this last Money in the Bank, you know, I did a pretty stupid move, so I think that one should <laughs> definitely be out there. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, my noggin's all right, thank you. Congrats on that. Uh, well, we have uh, uh, one other person, one other superstar. Joining us today, oh, did you hear? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please help me in welcoming the voice of the voiceless, the second city saint, back to the WWE Mattel Elite Squad panel, C.M. Punk! <laughs> What? Oh. Keep it up! 
<laughs> He's responsible for that. <laughs> One more lap. Ah, <laughs> uh, on purpose. <laughs> Hello. How's everybody doing? Did you all get stuck in traffic coming here too? <laughs> we were four doors down. Our hotel is four doors down from here, and it took us almost 90 minutes to get here, and we drove on the sidewalk the last 10 minutes. That's true. Very true. true yeah, yeah. Good times. Don't tell anybody we drove on the sidewalk, though. <laughs> I have a feeling it was illegal. <laughs> Well, it's only fitting, Punk, that you would, you would go through this entire crowd on your way to the panel because you made your debut on the Elite Squad panel in 2011 when you crashed the thing. Do we remember yeah. Punk coming in, unannounced, crashing the panel? Is it kind of a full circle moment? I mean, how wild is it to be back here now? It's wild, but I also think it's, uh, I mean, come on, we all knew this was gonna happen, right? <laughs> it, all, it all worked according to plan. <laughs> it happened just like I laid it out over 10 years ago, you know? Sometimes you just need a little break, you know? There's nothing wrong with that. Wow. I think we've had enough of a break. I think it's time we get this show on the road. What do you say? What do you say, do we wanna see some reveals? Bill, Steve, what have you got for us? Well, let's jump in first with our San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Now this item is uh, Mattel Creations uh, online only item uh, tied to San Diego Comic-Con, of course, so there are limited quantities available. Uh, so head there now to get uh, Shawn Michaels uh, with his zip line and entrance gear uh, from the famous Iron Man match. And, and Bill's gonna tell us a little bit about the specifics. Yeah, this is a brand new uh, ultimate sculpt with brand new uh, molded uh, entrance, um, I guess you call it a vest with the sleeves. The sleeves are like with the ultimate style with the interchangeable and brand new uh, soft good chaps. Uh, if you go down and see it in person in the display area, it's, uh, it's, it's came out really nice. It's also, I can't believe the first time we're getting the zip line in figure form. We've never had the zip line before. Zoe, I mean, coming from NXT and spending as much time as you did down there, you got to work with the Heartbreak Kid sure uh, did. Uh, in the flesh. Number one, did he teach you how to zip line? And beyond that, did he teach you? No, that is the one thing I asked him, though, but he refused to teach me that <laughs> one. Uh, you know, being able to work with him backstage was absolutely amazing. He gave me a couple tips on promos, which I will not share because that's between me and him. And hopefully I get to pick some up from CM Punk right here. Anything you need. Excellent. Punk. Yeah. We know this uh, 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 figure is from Shawn Michaels' Iron Man match with somebody that a lot of us are a huge fan of, including yourself, Brett the Hitman Hart. Uh, how impactful was this Iron Man match to you, either as a fan or now as a professional? I think a lot of what you see in the wrestling landscape uh, can be, I mean, currently can be traced back to this match, you know? Um, Brett and Sean were obviously 1A and 1B of the generation. Uh, I think you can probably ask everybody in here if they're of a certain age, there might be some kids in here. This, this actually, this little placard says, please be aware that many members of your audience <laughs> may be under 18 years of age. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that that's for Zoe because she cusses like a sailor. That's so, very yeah. true. <laughs> and, uh, but I, I think everybody, if you ask, like, are you a Brett or a Sean guy? Like you lean a certain way, but most of what you see in our industry stems from these two guys now. They were just the two best guys of that generation. Uh, and Sean winning and the boyhood dream, I think you see that resonate a lot with a lot of the superstars, whether they're cutting promos or it's backstage stuff, it's the behind the scenes stuff, the, uh, the stuff that I necessarily don't like when everybody gets to see, but it's, you know, I, I understand everybody, everybody likes that, but you know, the, the 
coming up, starting at the bottom, like Sean and Brett did, they were preliminary tag team guys, making their way all the way up to IC titles and wrestling in the main event of WrestleMania. And Sean's whole boyhood dream, winning the title, I, I, I think you can say there's a little bit of that in me, there's a little bit of that in Seth Rollins. Like, that's always the goal. So, everybody you see on current WWE television is following in these guys' footsteps. So it's cool to see specific matches and specific match attire being, you know, immortalized like this. It's a cool figure. Yeah, really, really cool. Well, guys, I know we got a lot of cool figures. So, Steve, what's... Uh What's next? Yeah, we'll keep it. Uh, real quick shout out to, to George Martinez, who worked on the packaging for this. It's like I was about to say, even the packaging is cool, yeah, right? awesome. Out of this world, yeah. Uh, and we are almost sold out on MattelCreations.com. I just did a check-in with the team there. Uh, so if, if you want this, don't sleep on it. It is almost gone, and it will be gone forever. Wow. All right, so first up, they're not basics, they're main event, right? Anything uh, but basic. Anything but basic. Uh, so we're gonna cut to a live feed from the Performance Center Whoa. for our first uh, reveal. Let's, let's, let's go to the Performance Center. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. oh, tuna things. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm jacked. Incredible. Unbelievable. I can cry. Under the sweater, I'm jacked. I don't know. I can cry. Young again. <laughs> oh my look god. At this. You look so young. Look at my, look at my kids. Look at my face. Come on now. You're the face. Through the pants, you can see my quads, which is actually in real life. You can do that. Go back, go back to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Armbands. insane. Armbands. 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 Well, I, I, I have a lot of this stylistic your, traits. You told me this was just a phase, though. Um, I, I kind of, it was cute, it was cute. All right, let's, give it credit let's credit commemorate credit. it, let's not get back to it. Okay. We like oh, this thing. This, this is cute. Incredible. Chase you in action video one. I could cry. Who would have thought that? I actually could cry. But I can't. I actually could. I, I can't move. If you can, go. No, but I, I'm going to ruin my makeup because it's actually oh, yeah, the worst thing ever. <laughs> hey. Well done, guys. Look at us. I could cry. I can't believe that. You're welcome to cry. More. No, but I can't ruin my makeup. We are all about emotions here. What if we? But no, I'm like. What if we all cry? What if we all cry? Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> so Ch Chase U making their main event debut, and Thea will not only have a standard version, but she will have a chase version. So both gears oh, that's will awesome. be available. Oh, that's great. All right, so let's move on to the Elite Collection, number one collection action figure in the US. Hey, not bad. So Bill, tell us about it. Oh. Yeah, Ilya Dragunov will be returning to the line with an updated head sculpt. Bron Breaker will also be returning oh, with yeah. the, uh, the awesome wolf hood he wore at No Mercy last year. And a first and time in the line. All right, look at that. Oh. I like it, yeah. The definition you guys hit perfectly, I must say. How jacked you are. Whoa, what's, what's in the box, Bill? What's in the box? This is the first. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you got the brace and everything. Look at we that. We got the brace. Uh, we First figure, so I'm just being a little me mesmerized right now. I mean, that's that's awesome. Thank you. Special attention to the abs. The, <laughs> the abs, the little cool. tattoo. Yeah. Oh, that looks great. I'm so happy about this. Can I, I get to take this one home? We'll send it to you. We'll send it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> CM Punk said I could take it. it, might just take it. I mean, we were just talking about those moments. We were just talking about those moments being immortalized, Zoe. Like, what's your reaction to the fact that like you're looking at this little version of yourself in that very moment in time i mean it's it's crazy like i all right this is all my whole life i've wanted to be a wwe wrestler Fuck. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is what this is about this is exciting for me So 
emotional, so thank you. This means a lot. It, you know, it really it, does. It's one of the great things about working on this line, as opposed to maybe other action figure lines, is you are making action figures of real people, and when you can see how much it means to them when they debut as an action figure, um, it's a it's a privilege that I get to you know every once in a while I get to experience and you know just being this close to you when you're when this is happening it's it's again like I'm I'm very privileged right now. Well, thank you. Like I, thank, I'm I'm privileged. Like and thanks for giving me some really cool outfit and gear to work on as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully more in the works. I got a white one too. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> get those reference <laughs> picks in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love that though. Enough with the emotions. When's the next one? When's the next? Yeah, one? no, that's <laughs> that's the real question, right? Are you guys working on a new one now? No? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> now we are. All right. Let's keep it going. Uh, we're going back to the performance center for this next first time in the line reveal. What's going on? Oh. It is Trick Williams, NXT former champion, but I am that superstar. And apparently, they want to show me something today. So let me see what you got. <laughs> oh, Trick really got an action figure. Tell my mama we made it. Yo, and they got my abs just right. <laughs> this is beautiful. Wow. Yo, whoever designed me, look at the arms on this thing. Look at the forearm. <laughs> Shout out to the action figure thing over there. Who's it, Mattel? Shout out to the really cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's your render of it. It is down in the booth already, so make sure you go down and, and check it out in person. But uh, what, a, what a pleasure it was. Uh, we had Trick at, uh, at Mattel uh, during WrestleMania 39 uh, and scanned him, and it's great to see this figure come to fruition finally. That's awesome. All right, Bill. All right. Our Truth. This is a special Judgment Day, Our Truth, that'll be uh, coming in the line soon. Kyrie Singh. Oh! With, and final boss, Rock. Yeah! With the, uh, the... <laughs> Come on! Are you serious? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> That's the final boss. Yeah. Look at that vest. Yeah, and they, look, we will come with that vest that everyone popped for when he came out uh, wearing that, so we took notice right away. That's awesome. Logan Paul will be returning to the... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Tough crowd. Uh, another first time in the line. Let's turn those boos around. Yeah, Jay Cargill based off of her WWE debut at the Royal Rumble. Look at those hands, too. Right. Those signature, are awesome. Signature pose hands. Uh, so let's, let's head down to, to NXT again. Live feed. Oh, 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 this is amazing, dude. Oh, they even got the tattoo in the hand. That is wild. Oh, thank you very much, Mattel. This is... Honestly, a childhood dream come true. Uh, I was, you know, I have collected action figures since I was a kid, and having my own now is amazing. Thank you. All right. So Axiom uh -huh. will be debuting in the Elite line, and he will also have a Chase version, which will be showing at a later date. Love it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we we got a big one coming up here. Yeah. Oh! CM Punk from the Royal Rumble in the Chicago flag themed gear. Is my beard that gray? <laughs> <laughs> what did you get? It's, it's an illusion. On I'm the sitting screen. up here looking at all these figures. Man, the accuracy, that's great. And then I see that and I'm like, hey, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> well, it also, I mean, it speaks to the whole elite collection, right? This is, you know, we're up way past 100 now. And Punk, you've been a, a staple of the elite line since literally the very beginning. We talk about moments. When we have to, I didn't mean to aid you by that. That's that quite, that quite all right. In tribute to that's quite a compliment. Right. <laughs> but when you talk about moments and all the moments that have been immortalized, that is your first televised WWE match in ten years. Coming back for the Royal Rumble, 
Can you take us back to what was going on in your head when those opening riffs played and you're just about to walk through the curtain? Um, it, it's all kind of a blur, obviously, especially considering I got injured and, you know, it, everything kind of, you know, went right when we were trying to go left. But um, love the gear. Uh, lo again, you know, when you do match specific gear for like that moment in time, it's, you know, like these things belong in a museum. It helps people go back and relive the moments. Uh, maybe not one that I want to relive, but, <laughs> um, but like, you know, you, life gives me lemons and I turn that shit gold. Sorry for swearing <laughs> anybody who may be under 18 years of age. Uh, I think this is a cool figure. It's a, it's a, because it represents a huge moment in my career, you know, first televised match back in WWE in, I don't know, 10 years or whatever, you know, and, and I love the gray beard. That, cause to me, <laughs> because to me, that's, those are the, it just like scars, just like everything else, like this is me. This is, this is who I am, this is what I look like. Uh, and it tells the story, you know? Like you don't get old man Logan without Logan being old, you know? Like it, <laughs> it, 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 is, it is what it is. And I would like to add that I am the same age Terry Funk was when he did Roadhouse, so. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Am I old? I don't think so. <laughs> All right. Another first time in the line reveal. Oh no, hey. spoiler, hold on, hold on. Oh. <laughs> oh, whoops. Cut to the satellite feed. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who it'll be. Oh my gosh. Lexus King Amy, look at that, I got the bandana and everything. This is crazy, this is like a dream come true. There was a point in my life, in my career, where I didn't think this day would ever come. And that's when you know you're freaking freaking made somewhere. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, no. Oh my God, I can't believe it. My dad too. That's freaking amazing. It's just cool, they got the best and everything. Hollywood blondes live forever though, this is crazy. I was gonna say long live Lexus King, but man, long live Brian Pullen. This is seriously very special. <laughs> everybody today, Bill. <laughs> so Lexus King will be debuting in the Elite Line coming up, and he will also be in a way with his father. Wow. Hollywood wow. blonde version That's of Brian so Pillman. That's really cool. And some sneaks of stuff that's even further down the road. We wanted to get uh, some sneaks out there of uh, upcoming uh, Elite Naomi. Make a Difference Fa 2. Wow. You <laughs> did it. Deep cuts. We do some deep cuts. Make a Difference wow. <laughs> So by the way, if I could tell My you how long too. I've been politicking with Bill behind the scenes to do a Make a Difference Fat 2, it's literally been years. It's true. It's just waiting for the right slot where it makes the most sense. And this, this, uh, there's an upcoming wave where it makes a lot of sense. That one's just for you. Yes. <laughs> All right. I think we're going to Performance Center now, maybe? Oh, no, no. Not yet. Not yet. No, wait, 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 wait. Some, uh, Tom, some, oh! Tamatonga? The right-hand man. And we act quickly, Jacob Fatu. And Tonga Loa will also be in the line. The sculpt was not ready, otherwise he would have been in, in this reveal, but yeah. Th these sculpts are literally hot off the presses. Bill, Bill got them to me the second uh, they were sent to us and we got them into the deck here. So still yeah. work in progress, but we wanted to show you that, that we're on it. Wow. Now I think we're heading back down to, to Orlando, right? Yeah. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> 
Can I zoom in on this? Is that possible? Just want to make sure you guys did me right with this face. Oh, you did. <laughs> wow, this is incredible. I'm assuming there'll be some digital on the screen as well, so you don't have to show the phone. You assumed incorrectly. Oh, <laughs> but obviously, the champ deserves it. I appreciate it. Okay, so are you allowed to take notes? Because I would love to send some notes. Oh, uh, let's just make sure the title is included with that. Because I am the champ. This is incredible. I just can't believe how fast this happened. Uh, well, you got my reaction. I guess my final comments are going to be, uh, you're welcome to the WWE Universe. Okay. <laughs> you're going to get the best Ethan Page action figure by the best toy company, Mattel. Uh, fingers crossed that I bully them into including the NXT Championship. And the second this thing goes on pre-order, please make sure that the era of ego continues and that we sell this puppy out. This is absolutely incredible. I can't believe I'm going to be a WWE action figure. But let's be honest. I knew this was going to happen eventually. It's yours. Let me know when you get the real thing. Uh, another one coming a little down the line, but we wanted to get a first look at uh, Ethan wow. Page. What do, you th what do you think about that title request? I think if he holds on to the title long enough, we can do that. If, wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start blasting through reveals now. Uh, thank you to our, our guests from, from NXT, uh, and we'll try to get to some Q&A with, with, with you fans here. So Ultimate Edition, Bill. Yeah, we, uh, Finn Balor for Judgment yeah. Day. Solo Sokoa. <laughs> oh, that's a tribal chief. Tough. WrestleMania Rock. <laughs> where, where were you all 10 years? Damian Priest, <laughs> send your money in the bank. <laughs> Ooh, first time in the line first ultimate. Time. We give you a preview of this back at WrestleMania, but here he is in living color. In living color, great Muda. And he will have a chase version as well, so. I'm gonna have to ask for a Gary Hart action figure. <laughs> <laughs> you, you get him right, signed and, and, and you. we'll make the figure. I need the Gary Hart, <laughs> brother. When he's under a WWE merchandise deal, we can. All right, more Ultimates fan takeover. These live at Amazon back at WrestleMania. Uh, we had all you fans, uh, the WWE Universe, vote on which version of John Cena you want to see in this line. And the winner is WrestleMania 20. So yeah, th that version will be made into the Ultimate. He will also come with a soft goods uh, basketball jersey. Nice. All right, more Ultimates Coliseum collection. As you know, uh, these are currently living at MattelCreations.com. The next set on the way, uh, which you can pre-order October 24th, is the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, along with Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Uh, this line, of course, inspired by the original Wrestling Superstars line. Uh, but some big news, uh, they will also be available in 2025 at Amazon, in addition to Mattel Creations. And the first Amazon set will be Battle of the Big Boys, Bam Bam Bigelow and the Big Boss Man. Uh, shout out to Bruce Reyes on packaging, amazing. You can see here the card back strip inspired by the Wrestling Superstars posters and original card backs. Some cameos by some Elite Squad members on there. Uh, and black card chase versions, randomly shipped. It's awesome. And then those inserts uh, acting as backdrops for your action figure photography. That boss man backdrop brings back a lot of memories oh, yeah. instantly. All right, Legends, you love them, available at Target. Uh, right now, you can actually pre-order Series 24, uh, as well as Ultimate Edition Vader, and the recently debuted Evolution box set, which is <laughs> on display downstairs. So pre-order all those right now. Uh, but coming up quick, Early 2025, we've got debut Carlito, <laughs> The Godfather, and Kurt Angle. Ooh. And Great Muda from his retirement match. Wow. And Smoking Gun <laughs> version of Billy Gunn. With the finger guns, by the way. Right, with right. Both versions with the. Uh, oh, yeah, look at those. Yeah. So you can do the this and then the. Oh, nice. 
design insights there. All right, uh, Legends at Target also have Ultimate Edition figures, and we are debuting to complete your your modern era or modern-ish era of DX, uh, Shawn Michaels. So long time coming for that figure. Okay, going to give some love to our friends at Walmart here. We've got the Monday Night War line uh, exclusively in the U.S. at Walmart and the U.K. at Smith's. Available for pre-order right now. Uh, you can get the latest wave uh, featuring six Razor Ramon, Lita, Ultimate Warrior, or just Warrior, uh, and the Build-A-Figure, American Dream, Dusty Rhodes as a member of the NWO. Uh, and an Ultimate Edition Triple H with some upgrades. Yeah, he has a brand new torso sculpted specifically for him. Uh, Triple H has a very distinct torso with very like long and large uh, uh, pecs, so we wanted to capture that fully. Uh. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. He does. <laughs> Jacked. All right, so coming later in 2025, we've got Kane. We've got the British Bulldog. We've got Hardcore oh. Hack. And Booker T. So we're kind of starting to tell the story of Booker T transitioning from a tag team wrestler to a single star. Uh, and he'll also have a chase in the white gear. And the build a figure for this wave will be another first time in the line superstar. Yes! Golga <laughs> from the Oddities. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that rules. All right, moving on to Ultimate. Uh, I believe this is down in the booth. It is uh, Lex Luger. Lex, yeah, Lex Luger with two different versions of the world title, one with the NWO and then one you can scrape off with the, uh, the rag that's included with the figure. He will also have interchangeable hair pieces, so you can have pose him with the ponytail or with the hair hanging loose. And these are the brand new versions of the world heavyweight title that were uh, specific to WCW, pre-WWE versions. All right, Superstar is also a Walmart exclusive, uh, one of the most popular lines we have right now. Down in the booth, you saw the Heart Foundation as well as Cactus Jack. This is what Cactus Jack looks like without that soft good shirt, so you do have the wanted version. This is what Cactus Jack looks like with <laughs> muscles. <laughs> I thought that's what you were going to say. <laughs> it's just like the Triple H thing. They wanted him as accurate yeah. as possible. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> well, this one is actually pretty accurate. Yeah. <laughs> We've got, we got Eddie. Coming around, uh, Ricky the Dragon oh. Steamboat, Jake the Snake Roberts, and Jake will have a chase as well in the white gear. All right, so Mattel Creations items, uh, the Elite oh, Tag cool. Team packs. Uh, so some info here, uh, Imperium goes on sale August 8th, uh, followed up rapidly by the Headbangers, first time in the line Headbangers, coming September 12th. And more information on the third pack, the Dudley Boys, uh, to come a little bit later. Uh, retros also living at MattelCreations.com. Uh, the next wave featuring Shawn Michaels, Alundra Blaze, British Bulldog, and Isaac Yankum DDS uh, <laughs> coming August 22nd. And in early 2025, we will have Rip <laughs> yeah. with the white version of the Winged Eagle Championship. So we are introducing titles to retros now. Uh, he will have Miss Elizabeth with him. Squaring off against Miss Elizabeth, oh, yes. sensational Queen Sherry, and then of course we need the human wrecking machine, Zeus, Zeus, to try to take down Rip. And then something else you saw in the booth is uh, <laughs> Brother Love, a single carded figure in the ring bundle, so he will be carded, um, and he comes with that Royal Rumble ring, and there's two sticker versions you can choose to apply, either the Royal Rumble sticker or that classic WWE logo. So does look he come for with this. A, ma a mag light? What is that? Why does he get a... It's that classic Brother Love microphone. That's his oh. microphone. Oh. All right. <laughs> I, was, I was like, why do you have a flash? It could be a mag light. Use your imagination. Right? <laughs> All right, our friends at Ringside Collectibles have some great exclusives. Retros also live there in tag team form. So, Bill, tell us about this new set. Sure, this set is coming soon. We have the Bloodline with Jimmy and Jay Uso, along with Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa. So, dabbling uh, with some modern talent in retros again. Uh, let's see if you guys like these as much as we do. And then from the vault, this one was downstairs as well. New Wave featuring. Hey! CM Punk uh, requested. Uh, we knew everybody wanted to, to revisit this figure, but uh, yeah, we're bringing it out quick. Yeah, he's got the Sam Roberts haircut in that figure. Yeah, who wore it? Who wore it better though? Probably. Yeah, probably I, don't know. I don't know. 
See, for everybody criticizing me, oh, he's injury prone. I'm just trying to get extra action figures. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm doing. All right, and our final reveal is an Ultimate Edition exclusive figure with ringside collectibles. Uh, and I think it's probably the most fan-demanded Ultimate Edition figure. So we're, we're making it happen. CM Punk from Money in the Bank 2011. There it is. Pre-order now or now-ish at ringsidecollectibles.com. And not only do we have a render here to show you, Bill. Oh, wow. wow. It, can, it can blow the kiss it can at blow the kiss. <laughs> he who cannot be named. <laughs> it's Vince. <laughs> It's pretty neat. I like how you, uh, the, I mean, the attention to detail is pretty sick. You have my messed up hair. Like, obviously, you use that one reference picture. Yeah, pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty, pretty famous. It's pretty awesome. brilliant. And this, this is something that I, if you would have asked me that we made, I would have been like, oh, yeah, we did this. But this is the first time, huh? That's the first time, yeah. It's crazy to me. It's absolutely crazy to me. Obviously, uh, an iconic moment in uh, wrestling history, obviously one of the more icon iconic moments in my career. So this is super cool. Um, yeah, this is neat. I'm not as emotional because I've had action figures before. <laughs> <laughs> but but it, being up here and seeing Zoe's reaction, seeing all the, I mean, uh, Lexus King, seeing all the first time reactions to, it, it's, it's kind of hard to understand like, what it feels like. They didn't have a camera on me when I was told I was getting an action figure. It was just something that happened. But this is a milestone in, I think, any wrestler's career. You know, in a way, this, this is tangible evidence of your success. You know, this, is, this means that you made it. You know, now there's other hills to climb and you gotta make it to the next level, but you know, this is something they can never take away from you, and this is really, really special. Thank you. All right. Cool, so we did it. We got through the reveals, and we're gonna give the time back to you, the fans, for some Q&A. Yes, line up behind that microphone in the center with the gentleman holding the sign if you'd like to uh, ask the panel a question. Let's go to the first one. Uh, this question is for Punk. Obviously, John Cena is re retiring, and you and him had an amazing rivalry all those years ago. Would you consider going one on one one more time with him before he rides off to the sunset? Yes. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> I'll consider it. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Noah. My question is for CM Punk. I know there's a lot of chatter about a certain somebody in your household making an appearance on WWE TV, so I'm gonna ask. Is it when about we... Larry? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when are we gonna get Larry the dog on WWE TV? Um, I don't know, he's, he's not allowed at shows anymore because uh... <clears throat> We'll see. <laughs> We'll see. He signed a Legends deal, though. I saw he's got merch. I, I wish he did sign a Legends deal. We're working on it. We're working on it. I know there's a lot of chatter in the, in the, the zeitgeist about Larry's contractual status, so we're working, we're working on it right now. We want a we wanna Larry versus Pharaoh two-pack. That's cool. Yeah, sure. I, I mean, I, I actually want to see him fight for real. Just kidding. Just kidding. Love Pharaoh. Thank you. All right, who's next? Hello, to Zoe and CM Punk. Hi. Big fans of both of you. <laughs> CM Punk, I've been watching you since the beginning of your career. And my question is, if you could go back in time, what time would you go back to, and who would you wrestle? Both, both of you. <laughs> oh, um, I mean, for me, I never got to wrestle Trish. I feel like that one's an easy one for me. I would go back to about 1973 and try to split my time in between the Tennessee Territory and championship wrestling from Florida and wrestle everybody that was 
possibly there. <laughs> awesome. awesome, awesome. All right. Hey, young Hi, man. Hi, CM Punk. This is for you. Um, um, if you were to go for, w would you go for a championship after you're done with Drew McIntyre? And whose championship would you go for? Uh, yes, um, I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility to, for me to wrestle for a title, uh, and the lazy answer is all of them. Uh, you know, I, I'm friends with Cody, that doesn't mean I can't challenge him for his title. We'll see what happens with Priest and Gunther, too. Love that, love that. All right. Uh, Punk, I'm just wondering if you've had the same pain with every action figure lover with pets. Has Larry ever eaten one of your toys? No, he has not. A good dog. Larry, uh, Larry has eaten a pizza. <laughs> when I first got him, I <laughs> ordered a pizza and I was like sitting on the couch and I was like, this is great. It was me and my dog and ordered a pizza. April was on the road and I got up and I ran to the uh, kitchen to grab something to drink. And when I came back, he had traversed the couch to the coffee table and he was stretched out and he had the pizza in his mouth. He like picked up a piece and it stayed together and it was like half in his mouth and half like on the table still. And I just looked at him and then he went to go try to run away and the whole pizza just fell on the carpet. <laughs> and I was like, that's pretty cool. He's never eaten uh, a toy or anything like that. No, thankfully. He's a fuzzy good boy. He's, he's, he's all right. <laughs> All right. Hi, CM Punk and Zoe Star. Can I get a picture with you? <laughs> yeah, of course. Yes. Yes. Come on up. You want to go get her, Sam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Yeah. Don't anybody ask the same questions. <laughs> We have a photo we'll, meet and we'll greet be down in the booth day. afterwards. So. Hi, CM Puck. I'm, I'm, I'm a really f big fan of you. Um, I love you so much, but can you, um... You cannot do autographs, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but you can ask a question. You can ask a question. Did you ask? No. Okay. Oh, I mean, I'm not going to let the kid down. What does he need? <laughs> what, are, what are we doing here? Yeah, just come up here real quick. Come on. <laughs> Awesome. And we will, Steve, you were saying, we're going to have a, a meet and greet at the booth? Yes, a yes. So 115 to 215, come down to the Mattel booth. Uh, it is ticketed, but we will have a standby line, so come on down. Yes, if anybody wants to say, hey, Mattel booth, 115 p.m. Yes, sir. Hi, guys. A big fan. Um, my question is for Zoe. Uh, for a big part of your main roster run, you've been paired with Shayna Baszler and most recently Sonya Deville as part of the faction. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, Sonya and Shayna have MMA uh, background. Do you yourself have a bit of a mixed martial arts background? And if so, who would win if you go one-on-one -on -one with Shayna and or Sonya? Oh, they would both kick my ass. I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. I did a little bit of jujitsu, but nothing to the extent that they did. I grew up wrestling. That was my number one focus. And then just a little bit of jujitsu on the side. That's why you pick partners sometimes, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, keep them on your side. Yeah, they handle my light work, really. Yeah. You know? Awesome. Good luck to you guys. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Hi, this is a question for Zoe and for Punk. Um, who would you say is the best 
What would you say is the best piece of advice that you've ever received about your industry that kind of changed the way you thought about it going forward? And who gave it you that advice? It's <laughs> uh, a good one, actually. Um, it really have to just come down to Sean, and again, when it came to promos, it was just figuring out ways on how to relax, because I do get really nervous talking in front of people. Like, with what I do, you would think that would be the easy part, but it's very, very difficult. So the public speaking portion of it, Sean just kind of gave me some points of how to kind of relax and just focus on what needs to be done. You know? cool. um, moves don't mean anything. It's who is doing them and when they're doing them. Eddie Guerrero. Good one. Thank you. I'm jealous about that, by the way. He was right. Yeah. This is for Sam Funk. I just want to say a big fan of yours. What's the upcoming match for against Drew McIntyre, which happens to be on my birthday on August 3rd? Happy birthday. Thank you. Um, do you guys think that are you going to have like a stipulation match for, for this upcoming match? For the upcoming one? Yes. Um, I mean, the stipulation is that idiot is the, the referee, you know, like I think, I think anything more is going to be a hat on a hat on a hat, which sounds like something he would do, so, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to punch Drew in the face, I don't, I don't care where it's at. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Awesome. Hi, this question is for everybody. What was the first WWE action figure that you guys collected? Oh, mine was a John Cena action figure. Wow. Big John Cena fan <laughs> growing up. <laughs> um, I am uh, going to date myself with this, uh, but the, the Hasbros, I was pretty big into collecting all kinds of toys back in the early to mid 90s so like the WWE Hasbro guys and there was like a, a bunch of green carded ones I think that might have been like their last line yeah mm -hmm. that came out I remember searching all over hell and creation to try to find like the the one two three kid and yep it was like Yokozuna mm -hmm. I think I smoking think guns smoking guns yep. yeah um but as far as like the first one that I ever collected I I have no idea it's probably a John Cena action figure <laughs> <laughs> The first one I ever bought was the Hasbro yellow card Kamala figure. And if I would have known what that would have ended up. Stars and moons, baby. Yeah, mine was my <laughs> star on the belly. It wasn't the moon. <laughs> like everyone else. Yeah, mine was the, the LJN wrestling superstar Hulk Hogan, the original first version. Yeah, my first was after I got a tooth knocked out, my mom got me the Roddy Piper and Iron Sheik thumb wrestler LJN two pack. And I've been here ever since. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hi, CM Punk. Hello. And Zoe. Hi. Two things. Oh, actually, one thing. You're my biggest fans, and two, if you were to be in a tag team match, who would your partners be? I mean, Shayna. Sonia. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, if we're talking about, in general, who I would ever wish for, man. You know, I've always been a big fan of, like, Victoria. I think it would be really cool to team up with her at some point. Be fun. If I had to tag up with somebody to beat some people up, it would probably be Larry. <laughs> um, everybody's asking me, because Cena has announced his retirement, that, you know, obviously they want to see us fight each other. I think there's, a, there, there's something to me and him tagging. I think that could be pretty interesting. Cool, cool. Thank you. All right, I think we have time for one more question. Yeah, last question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, lifelong fan of wrestling, big fan of both of you. Thank you for everything you do. Uh, two quick questions. The first one being dealing with injuries and being on the shelf for extensive periods of time. Like I've been on the shelf for like six months through my job injured. Um, Are you okay? Oh, I'm great now. I've been back for a while. You know, arm is as good as it can get. Your job is very difficult. I, 
It's 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 shipping. All the all the the murder and the mayhem. <laughs> yeah. It's exhausting. Recovery. That kicks my butt. All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> when being on the shelf for such an extended period of time, six months longer, um, what's a good coping mechanism that you utilize to like not kind of you know lose it? Um, it gives me something to do. It gives me a goal to reach, you know, uh, and having the same injury on the left side of my body previously, like it took me nine, 10 months last time. This time it took me five. Nice. You know, so just using that as like a, a totem and to focus on that and to eat healthy, train, do everything you can in your power to come back a hundred percent. I think it just like, you know, it's, I, I wouldn't, wish it to happen but it, it happened and you know I, I spent 15 minutes crying about it and then the next day I was doing rehab you know and then I had surgery and I was doing rehab like three hours after my surgery it's you just one foot in front of the other I like that uh, my second question real quickly for anybody that wants to answer right. what do you call it when Batman skips church what do you call it when Batman skips church? I don't know. What? Well, well can, I, can I interject here and say that <laughs> this is absolutely the wrong gimmick. You're not the Riddler. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a joke, not a riddle. <laughs> but I, I digress. Sorry, go ahead. What, what is it called when Batman skips church? Christian Bale, huh? Okay, very good. Thank right. you, Joker. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Joker. That was fabulous. <laughs> Everybody loved it. Everybody's laughing. Got more booze than The them. Rock did, dude. No. <laughs> well, guys, don't forget to go to MattelCreations.com right now to get your hands on the uh, San Diego Comic Con Shawn Michaels figure, Walmart for the Monday Night Wars pre-orders, Target for the Legends pre-orders, Ringside Collectibles for that CM Punk Ultimate thank Edition. And I want to thank... Stephen Bill from Mattel. I want to thank Zoe Stark. And I want to thank CM Punk. And most importantly, all of you keep hitting us with that action figure photography at hashtag WWE Elite Squad. And we'll see you in the booth at 115. Thank you, everybody.